Hello again. Welcome to part two of the Peak Forest. I'd be grateful if you'd like, subscribe, comment or share my vlogs. Thanks for watching. This is the Bugsworth Basin, or Bucksworth as it prefers to be known these days. This was once the busiest and biggest inland port on the narrow canal system. This is the lower basin. There's no turning point here, so you'd have to reverse in or reverse out. The stone from Christ Quarry had a high content of coarse grit which gave it an anti-slip quality, ideal for flagstones. The sandstone was taken from here to Dukinfield at Ashton-under-Lyne, where it was transported on a tramway to Manchester. You might want to pause the video at this point to read the signage. Leaving Bugsworth the next morning, I headed off on the six-mile trip back up the Peak Forest to Marth. This part of the basin is known as the Wide. This is the Wolfinger's house. The Wolfinger would stop boats at the gauging points outside and assess the weight of the load and therefore the toll that had to be paid. So we're exiting the Bugsworth Arm and onto the main canal to take us up to Marple Lock. Bridge 25, Higgins Clough Swing Bridge. At least I tied up on the right side this time. Put your waterways key in, pull the handle and push. You would not believe how grumpy this guy was at having to wait. I mean, look at his body language. I made a light-hearted remark and he spat some unintelligible reply to me. Well, perhaps I was making him late for his anger management session. I'm just passing through New Mills Marina and uh, bizarrely, <laughs> rather bizarrely, and I hope you can catch this, we've got Del Boy's boat on the left here. Um, <clears throat> Trotter's Independent, Peak Forest. hills and deep valleys of Derbyshire. They really are a joy. Just lovely. A mechanically operated lift bridge at Wood End. Bliss. 
You just insert your waterways key and press the button. Quick and easy. And there's an oncoming boat, Lana, which I led through first. So I'll we'll go through and tie up and let the bridge down again. At least there weren't any ragy blokes at this bridge. I've told you what's so good about this canal. Now I'm going to tell you what's bad about it. Diddly squat. Carefully lift bridge, and I have to use muscle power and a windlass again. Now, I've got to tell you, this is an absolutely cracking little canal. From the start at Ashton Underline, all the way up to Whaley Bridge and Bugsworth. It is just wonderful. The scenery is terrific. Um, it's not particularly physically demanding. Um, the only locks are the 16 locks uh, on the Markle flight, and that's actually really quite interesting anyway. Um, and. Yeah, there's so much, there's so much of interest and beauty here. It's just lovely. I love it. Um, Bugsworth itself. Uh, now, I'd, I'd love sort of 18th and 19th century social history anyway, but Bugsworth itself was just wonderful, brilliant. I loved all that kind of, you know, the fact that the limestone was brought down from the hills and loaded onto the barges and, and taken off. Uh, around the north of England and that uh, you know the barges came back full of coal to, to, to feed the, the lime kilns and stuff like that. Wonderful, it's just brilliant to imagine what that place must have been like 150 years ago. Absolutely wonderful, yeah great. Um, if you can just do this canal, this, this wonderful little canal, it's just so good. Mm -hmm.